5.1.14 state that saprophytic bacteria and fungi recycle the nutrients. In the image here, we can see the fruiting bodies here of a fungi, a saprophytic fungi, fruiting body. Uh, this is the actual reproductive structure, reproduction of the fungi. The food source, the nutrient source for this fungi is the log here. This is a log tree and it will contain carbohydrate in different forms, um, proteins, and to some extent lipids. And what's happening here, if we illustrate the log by this block in the diagram like this, what happens is that the saprophyte, the saprophytic fungi, lands initially on the wood as a spore, a single cell, and it will secrete, let's show this in yellow, from this cell will secrete digestive enzymes. So yellow represents digestive enzymes. And these bring about the digestion of the wood. Now this then goes into, they become soluble. Let's illustrate that in red. So the soluble carbohydrate proteins and lipids are then absorbed by the cell like this. I just need to redraw the cell so we can see it clearly. This will then allow it to uh, grow and it will grow a tubular system down into the wood. And these tubular structures are called hyphae. They're quite unusual in their cellular structure. They have a wall made of chitin. It's a kind of carbohydrate. But the cells are not completely separated from each other by a cell wall or by a cytopl uh, cytoplasmic membrane. The cytoplasm, in fact, may flow freely between the fungal cells. And this is a structure called hyphae. Let's just draw the block of wood again. So all the time it's secreting these digestive enzymes and digesting the wood of whey. Just draw the block of wood once more. Over a period of time then, our spore, our fungi, will have grown down into the wood and the hyphae will branch and develop a highly branched network of hyphae. And this is called a mycelium. Gradually, of course, what it's doing is digesting away all of the wood. And that is absorbed by the fungi for its own growth. At some point in the process, the fungi obtains sufficient nutrient that it comes back to the surface, the mycelium, the hyphae come back to the surface and form the structures which are going to spread the spores so that the process can carry on again. And people would commonly call these toadstools or mushrooms and are shown in the image here like that. So that's saprophytic fungi. Bacteria have a less complicated process where the extracellular digestion like this and the population of bacteria would simply increase. Stating that saprophytic bacteria and fungi recycle nutrients. So in this image here, we are recycling the dead tree. This is true for the decomposition of all organic matter from dead tissues.